Hi everyone, Josh with JE Honda Vintage Minis in Orlando, Florida. Today I'll just show you what I use when I'm doing working on my engines that are out, you know, taking off the uh, bikes. Uh, it's just a simple 2x6 box. Uh, this idea has been around forever, um, but I've got the dimensions that work for me with the horizontal engines that I work with in the 50 to uh, 72 cc engine range. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you what the dimensions are on the cuts on the 2x6 uh, stock length here and put it together and um, you know my opinion on this is I don't I, I love these wooden boxes because I can hold my engine in any orientation I'm free to lift it up move it around uh, as opposed to fabricating uh, a steel welded engine stand uh, that you're bolting your engine to. I, I guess my workflow doesn't understand how bolting an engine down to a stand is conducive to allowing you to get the engine and do all sorts of things that you need to do while disassembling an engine or putting it together. So that's just my opinion and I'm going to stick with these but I'll show you how to make these boxes. Very simple, cheap, and I think they work excellent. Alright, let's get some dimensions on the box here. Do the long run, the long cut, and that's going to be nine and five eighths of an inch, and then uh, the inner cut here is going to be six and an eighth of an inch. So I need two of those and two of those. So let's go to the chop saw and get this cut out. So I'm going to cut all my 9 and 5 8 inch length parts of this box, which I'm going to need 6 of them. So I'm just going to make a stop here so that I make accurate cuts and I just can repeat them really quick. And we'll get those cut. And then I'll cut the smaller sides with the remaining length. So since we're doing a little woodworking on this video, I wanted, out of respect to Honda, I, uh, I made my stop with an original piston here. So I just used that as my stop for my board. I used a, an art piston, and then I'll be able to repeat the cuts. So let's get some of these cut. Also, a uh, shout out to the DeWalt. I used the FlexVolt, which is the battery system. So I got two 60 volt batteries, so it's 120 volts on this saw. I can bring it anywhere I want with no power cord necessary. So uh, for all any of you guys that are woodworkers, I, I think the saw is awesome and I bought into the whole flex volt system. Uh, Safety glasses. You know, always measure twice, cut once. So we're gonna repeat that. Since I got this stop here, should give me the same cuts over and over again. All right, so there's six nine and five eighths inch uh, cuts. Now I'm gonna do the six and one eighth inch cuts. I got enough for six pieces on the remaining board. Let's get six and one eighth inch measured out. Set our stop.
All right, so I'm one shy on the small cut. I assumed that board was 96 inches. It wasn't. Uh, so anyways, I'll make up on another build on it down the road when I need a new box. But you guys should have a 96 inch long uh, 2x6 board. All right, so let's get our screws. I have a box of unlimited 2.5 inch screws. So you're going to need eight per eight per box engine stand or engine box. So let's gather up. I need 24 in my case, so I'll get 24 of those, and then I'm gonna grab some wood glue. All right, so we got our pieces cut. These are the tools you want to gather to to clamp it together and glue it together and fasten it together. So I'll get some two clamps that are wide enough to encompass the frame of the box. I use two and a half inch screws, wood screws. Wood glue, wood glue stronger than the actual fasteners. This is what's going to hold it together in the long term. So wood glue, uh, three thirty second inch bit to do your pre-drilling for your screws, so you don't split your wood, and then your driver for your uh, screw. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to do is put glue on the edges, and then I'm going to clamp the box together, and then next we'll drill the pilot hole, and then we'll put the fastener in. And since you're going to be working with glue and it's going to have squeeze out, go ahead and get yourself a paper towel that's moist or wet. Uh, and then we'll be able to wipe away all the extra that comes out. So we're just going to put glue on these short ends, on the short cuts. We'll put them on both sides and that will go in between. So. So we're gonna clamp it. Just put a one clamp on each side should be enough. Let's try and get your parts flush with each other at this point before you clamp it totally. Run your finger up and down the edge, and you should be uh, feeling the lip. That's a good place to clamp. And then we'll do it on the same side. Or the same on the other side. So we clamped it in the middle so we have access for two screws, one here and then one down here. So I'm going to drill my pilot holes. Okay, 
So now we can put our fasteners in. Jeez. Just make sure everything's still in alignment. Recess it just a little bit. All right, so I'll go ahead and get all the fasteners in. All right, so tighten your clamps a little bit more if you can. And then just go ahead and get all that extra glue off around the edges so it doesn't mess up your workstation or whatever. Uh, another little idea, since this will be my uh, clean engine build boxes and I'm working with covers that are painted, this is a toolbox liner. You can get this over at Harbor Freight. It's one of the sellers for it. It is only like six bucks for a big roll of it. Uh, but what I think I'm gonna do on this so I can help protect my painted surfaces if I'm flipping my motor around is, this has a nice bit of a cushion in it. It's kind of almost like a, it's like a memory foam-ish kind of feeling when you press down on it. So anyways, uh, just cut some pieces and fold it over the top rails here and maybe put a couple staples or if you have like a 3M adhesive spray it on there uh, but staple it on each side you know do that for the other corn, uh, other up uh, exposed edges so you'll have a, a protective surface for these which I think I might do alright so this one I am going to do this and I'm just going to use, for me, a staple gun. Now I got a nice cushion area for my clean engines to work on. So this, this is gonna dry, I gotta build the other boxes, um, but I'll show you, I got a couple engines I gotta start building today. Should be nice, I'm gonna let this glue set for a little bit, but I'll grab a kind of a an unclean engine and show you how it can work in these boxes at this point. All right, so this is a dirty engine. Uh, just put saran wrap because I don't, I don't want any oil getting on my clean case or my clean box here. So you can work on your engine like this. Uh, clamp stuff, hidden stuff. So just regular working on it. Now this is the same thing for breaking down an engine. Uh, use these boxes all the time. Get in here with your impact wrench, bang it, sturdy surface to hit on, pull your covers, hit, do your clutch work. Uh, you know, turn it upside down if you want to work that way. Hold your engine upright. Put your cylinder head on. Uh, so basically, multiple angles that you guys can just put these engines and work on. Uh, and that's kind of why I uh, don't understand the metal ones, the frames, because everything's always bolted down and you just, you can't work on the, I mean, when you bolt them together, I see people that are bolting the cases together and, you know, you got to bolt this engine onto a fabricated stand with the cases being held together and I don't know, I don't know how that works for when you're trying to split your case and work on things. So, uh, anyways, as you can see, I can do anything I want with this engine stand and any engine orientation and this thing is sturdy it's not going anywhere so uh, hope you guys like this video um, 
Hopefully uh, I explained it well. I think it's pretty basic how you put it together and give you the dimensions to do it that work with these horizontal engines. Uh, but if you build one, I think you'll agree with me that it's actually a fantastic tool to use when working on these engines. Anyway, subscribe. Got a ton more videos coming out as I work through all these bikes that I, I have um, that I have on my list to do. Uh, so I'll, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.